Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild and Wacky Gaming, Spongebob, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the last part, we went to Chum World to, um, get some letter tiles, and uh, also, did we... Yeah, I think we also helped out Sandy in the last part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Also, Sandy got captured. Now, we're gonna go to Goo Lagoon. Hey, Spongebob. Oh, hey, Timmy. What's up? Oh, I kinda wanna jump for this part. Also, uh, Cosmo Wander here, too. Also, um, Blue, Snap, and Dudley. Oh, okay, then. All right, everybody, he said we're in. All right. Okay. Let's get started. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, then. Let's get this show on the road already. So, uh, wait, how do we get to Goo Lagoon? Well... We have to give Larry... Larry from my show? No, Dudley. That's like the third time somebody made that joke. All right. Larry the Lobster. 50 jellyfish game total. Hi, Larry. Where does this bus go? Everyone knows this is the bus to Goo Lagoon, the land of eternal sun and surf. I'm just waiting for my friend to show up so I can oh. give him my extra bus ticket. An extra ticket? Can I borrow it for a while? I haven't been to Goo Lagoon in ages. Sorry, little dude. I only have one extra bus ticket. Please. Nope. No can do. But I What's with Larry's jaw? Listen, nothing will convince me to give away this extra ticket. Well, maybe for 50 jellyfish, which I can use to make my favorite snack. Does he eat jellyfish? I don't know. That's disturbing. I... For the last time, I'm not giving away my extra bus ticket. I'm not here for your measly ticket, Larry. No, I was just taking a long stroll to think of all the ways I can use these jellyfish. There's jellyfish jam and jellyfish jambalaya, candy jellyfish and jelly pot pie, tentacle twist and jelly pops. Like a boy. I feel very ashamed of myself. Excuse me. Wait, where's he going? I, I don't know. Guys, what do we do? Oh, I guess we're just gonna have to play without him for a while. Yeah, I hope he has better soon. So wait, where are we going again? Cosmo! We're going to Goo Lagoon! Goo Lagoon, the sand, the surf. There is nothing like being at the ocean, except being under the ocean. Wasn't that line used in Employee of the Month, only without the sand and surf part? I think it was. Bow, bow, bow. Right. Well, we might as well get this on. We're gonna need it. We need it everywhere. Let's see if we can. Nope. Hey, no running on the beach. <laughs> also, I'd like to bring up. Okay, not this guy, but that other guy we just faced. He's, he was like smaller than SpongeBob. Yeah, you're right. Jellyfish. Hey, don't make fun of the green jellyfish. Cosmo, you're only saying that because you're green. So? Might as well get some doubloons, too. How many you needed here? Oh, uh, I think 250. Great gumballs, that much? Right, Blue. It is a lot. Oh, yeah, that was a blue jellyfish. Okay, carefully. 
Yep. There's another green one. Get it! Okay, we done. I sure hope me boy is doing alright. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, Mr. Krabs. I mean, this is SpongeBob we're talking about. Okay, no, he's bigger than SpongeBob, but only by a tiny bit. You know, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense, Snap? Lifeguards are supposed to, you know, help. Their whole point is to help people. But they're just telling SpongeBob to get lost. Right now. Yeah. Huh. And again, I guess we need some sort of themed enemy for this level. Hey, it's Rusty Scumper! Oh, he was in the Jellyfish Fields level. Wow, Spongebob, you just call him an old-timer? I'm still recovering from what I just did, okay? Seems like everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure, no problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. Just let me know when you're ready to pay for your order. Where are we gonna get that kind of money? Well, Snap, this whole level is, has, but, has a lot of money. Yeah, I like this level. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, you are aware that we have to give the money to Rusty Stumper. Whatever. Get us some money. Yay, money! Uh-oh. Excuse me, but can I sit on your lifeguard stand? Of course not. Now beat it, you little wimp. You're only slightly taller than us. said that just kind of reminds me of the, the the episode the big problem where I wish that I was older oh yeah but since you weren't a kid anymore you couldn't have fairy godparents so Cosmo and Wanda were supposed to get reassigned you know I think that one episode actually that was the very first episode of the show if you don't count the oh yeah cartoons That episode has one of my favorite lines of the whole show. I'd rather be a shrimp than a hairy prisoner any day. Hey, me too. Ha! Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, you're right, Blue. Chuck Zone also started on Oh Yeah cartoons. Did My Life as a Teenage Robot also start on Oh Yeah cartoons? I believe so. You're right, Blue. Without Oh Yeah cartoons, we wouldn't have the Fairly Odd Parents, Chuck Zone, or My Life as a Teenage Robot. So, pretty much all of the fans of those shows, us included, pretty much owe themselves to Oh Yeah cartoons. Alright, another jellyfish. Feel the reverse put up? A little bit. Gee, Larry, this place is ocean swell. <laughs> Me neither, Blue. Well, look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. 
Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. Really, Larry? What do you think, Larry? But can you tell me where you got that what? belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goolagoon Tough Man tournament. Now stop talking Tough with Man me, tournament. okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, SpongeBob! Everybody's gonna notice at that point. Fellas who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. You know, Larry, maybe it's a... You shouldn't tell Spongebob where you're going. Yeah, otherwise, we're going to know where you are. Well, we have to follow him anyway if we want to progress. Oh, we missed that one gold to blue. We need it. Get it again. Wow, crabs. Really that desperate about the doubloons? Well, we need them to complete the game, Mr. Squidward. Yeah, he's got a point, Squidward. Jump. Is that all the... No, we still need more sand guys. See if we can get over there. Nope. We must have. We're probably gonna have to find another way. Are you looking for trouble? What is it about these guys that whenever they talk, it causes the music to stop and then reset? It's like this game can't handle music and dialogue at the same time. Well, this is Big Sky. I mean, this was developed by Big Sky Interactive. I mean, no disrespect to anybody who worked on the game. But I mean, they were going through some rough times. Is that all the jellyfish and sand dollars in this part of the level? I don't know. Maybe we better do a quick double check. Oh wait, there's a jellyfish. Papa! I got it! Alright. I also saw a litter tile up there on that umbrella. Hey, Snap. Yeah, Dudley? Wasn't there an episode of Chalk Zone where you wanted to have a house at the beach or something like that? I think so. I don't, I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen that. I think also Rudy had some extra additions made to the house. Because everybody wanted to be a part of it. That much I do remember. All I can think of that now is that one episode, uh, what was it called again? The, the one episode where I wished I had, I was the strongest guy on the beach. But apparently, since I wished to be the strongest, whenever somebody stronger than me would come onto the beach, I would instantly become stronger than them. Hemi, since you wish to be the strongest, we couldn't have anybody be stronger than you. So the wish had to make you stronger than them. I guess that made sense. I mean, it got to the point where I was like, I was so 
huge that I could crush anybody I stepped on. Yeesh. Wait, I don't remember Ghoul Lagoon having a lighthouse in the show. It didn't. Hey, we got enough money to give to Rusty. Well, we need to turn the lighthouse on anyway. Plus, we need to talk to Got enough jellyfish. We better make sure we get every doubloon here. Because we're going to need them. Did we just get two jellyfish in one swing? It's Cosmo Wanda! Come on! It's no wonder it's the green ones that give you trouble. What do you mean by that, Wanda? You know what I mean! I love you too, honey! Thank you, Squidward. Now come. So, we turned the lighthouse on, right? Yeah, I think so. Isn't there another area that we have to get up to? I think it's up there. How do we get up there again? Uh, oh, I see what we gotta do here. But, that guy just kind of peeked out of his head everywhere we go. What the? Why wouldn't these guys turn on the lighthouse? Who knows? Great gumballs! Is, is, is it just one guy or are there multiple people living in that lighthouse? All right, that's another jellyfish. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me, everybody. Well, at least we're more than halfway there. Aren't you going to see a trap? No, I'm not. So 
SpongeBob, how long are you gonna be sulking like this? Probably until the next part. SpongeBob, you realize this is just a video game, right? Yeah. You again? I already told you I'm not giving up my championship belt. Now stop. Sheesh. Me Maybe we should throw that Larry into the shark tank. Uh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. It had a big letter that would open up treasure. Tartar sauce. Where can yeah, you're right, get away Blue. from you? Spongebob is completely bright, while Larry is... What's with the lighting on Spongebob? Why is there no lighting on him in this game? Well, there is this one scene where Spongebob has lighting, but it doesn't look very good. What scene is that? It's, uh, with, uh, at the final confrontation with the Dutchman. sick of hearing the same music all over and over and over again. Calling us a runt if you're only somewhat taller than us. Wow, pathetic. I'd like to order that magic bottle, please. And here's the ten dollars to pay for it. Great, your order will be on the next boat, which should arrive any time now that the lighthouse beacon is working again. I'll go open the gate. You better get on the end of the pier, you might miss the boat. Right. Go to the pier. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, that's the rest of the episode. Where's Wanda? Where I told Timmy to go to the pier. I, I like piers. Don't remind me of that episode, Cosmo. And I thought I told you to shut up! <sighs> I thought I told you to slow down. The only good thing is that I got to go to Chocolate City, Utah. Chocolate City, Utah? I tried to get her to go to Peanut City, Alabama, but she wouldn't go! I'm not blood and level 14 probation with Mama Cosma. My worst nightmare. Get off the 
off the beach, run. Why, do, why does Mama Cosmo hate you so much? I hope I made it in time. I, I'm not entirely I sure. I think it's just because... I think she said that she'd be against anybody who married Cosmo. Cosmo? Looking good. Not slowing down. But definitely getting closer. Oh, I call all you. It's the Dutchman. This isn't good. Getting really close. Oh, no. Still not slowing down. <laughs> Two. Close. Must. Move. Legs. Hurry. Oh yeah, this is the perfect music to play while we're being chased by the Flying Dutchman. Squidward, you're just basically repeating what pretty much everyone else has said about this game. I mean, they're not wrong, but still. What? I'm known for complaining, aren't I? like this anyway. I like it. Of course you like it, Cosmo. I just really like peers. <laughs> well, at least we made it. Stick around here now that the pier's demolished. If only I was younger, I'd check through that wreckage for anything useful. It's back to jellyfish fields for me. Okay, now we can go back and get the letter tile, but we're saving that letter tile for last. And anybody who has ever played this game knows exactly why we're saving it for last. We mentioned jellyfish. Uh, guys, I'm not sure it's a good idea to mention jellyfish anymore. Hey, we might just upset SpongeBob even more. I really made it this time, dude. No talking, no singing, and no way I'm taking off my Tough Man Championship belt. That's it, Larry. You give me no choice but to invoke my greatest singing powers. Prepare yourself. With you fellows who met at the beach. I like it. Yeah, it's a good song. It had a big letter that would open a treasure, but the big guy who wore it didn't want to remove it. So SpongeBob decided to sing him this song. If you think I'll give up, boy, are you wrong? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you call that music? So bad, then you'll have to win it the same way I did in the Tough Man Arena. Just climb on board when you think you're ready, tough guy. All right, we're on the shipwreck. the jellyfishing gear after all because there are hooks here that we can well I suppose it was nice to give the viewers a break from the music while we had the chance Some more doubloons while we're here. Good call. Yay, doubloons! How do we get up there? You mean you don't know, Patrick? 
Well, I'm not the star of this game. SpongeBob is. Uh, I'm not the star. Because uh, I'm a starfish. You feel any better, me boy? A little bit. Wait, Spud, my butt a little bit to feel better. What? There's a karate match. Huh. I suppose that would make me feel a little bit better. Just nobody tell Fluttershy what I did, okay? Okay. Secret save with us, Spud. Now is that one episode, uh, Kung Timmy, where I tried to learn Kung Fu to get everything back from Francis. Well, Timmy, you didn't learn it. You just had Cosmo and me turn into your Kung Fu gear. Oh, yeah. Well, still... For a good cost to me. Yeah, you're right. Uh, all I can remember now is like when I first trained with Kitty. You've got a lot of heart, little dude. The championship belt is yours. Time well, at least he was a little bit nice to us. to go back to get that last letter tile and get more doubloons. All right. I feel better. I'm ready. Let's do this. Hey, no running on the beach. <laughs> These tough guys, they're not so tough. Hey. Maybe they just pretend to act tough. You could be right about that, Cosmo. I'm right about something? I think I need to sit down for a minute. Holy fish paste. Right, Blue. The Dutchman did make a mess of things. Well, these guys are just sitting here, life preservers. They're not even moving, they're just. Wow. Wait, how come the life preservers aren't taking them all the way up to the surface? It's a good question, Snap. Well, we don't have time for questions. We need to get that last letter tile and get 
more doubloons. I suppose we should have gotten that way to get the doubloons. Whatever. Hopefully we'll have more than enough doubloons after we get all of them from these uh, spinning platforms. Uh... Alright, it's all the doubloons we needed. Well, I suppose that helped out a little bit. Okay, let's get that last letter tile. Wrap it all up. Up. Uh. Ew. 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 <sighs> that was a close one. You can say that again. That was a close one. Really, Dudley. What? in the wrong direction. The wrong direction! The wrong direction, I tell you! Doofenshmirtz! Did you really have to make that joke again? Yes. You're not in this video. Oh, alright, I'm going, I'm going! Alright. Okay, I think we're just going to have to ride those big crates. Almost there. We can make it. Now that we got all our tiles, we can get the treasure! Alright. Yeah. This part seems actually pretty easy if you think about it. As so long as you know what you're doing. Alright. Time to go treasure hunting. This get up. It's my treasure hunting get up. No running on the beach. Okay, if I recall, the treasure is around over here somewhere. Are you looking for three? Oh, there's the treasure. There we go. Why did you just use a standard attack when I'm I have no attack when I'm in this one? The B button just gives me this. It's pretty much pointless. Okay. Hey, go boss! What is that? I have no idea. Ugh. Oh, 
Well, guys, shall we go after the treasure in Chum World and then call the part? Okay, I'm down. Let's do it. Papa. Oh yeah. Head off to Chum World. Get that treasure. Oh, that's the downtown bus stop. There's the Chum World bus stop. So, uh, how do we get the last letter tile? We have to chase Plankton. You won't tread on me, goody two shoes! <laughs> we'll just see about that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You're right, Blue, that was quick. Here we are, inside my head, again. Right. Oh wait, no. I hit the wrong one first. <laughs> Green chum put. Hey, how come the music for the treasure hunting outfit isn't playing here? I, I don't know, Stan. I mean, this is the one time where I wouldn't mind it playing different music other than the selected music for the world. sure has a weird way of deciding what to put in his treasure chests. Hey, it's me! And me! And me! You've located the little varmint who's been giving you all this trouble. Aha! Shall we continue moving our car? Oh, there's you, Gary. Below? Nay! Over the side! You don't stand a chance, square pants! And there's Sandy. Uh-oh. Leave the house without getting squashed. Okay, uh oh. Oh no! Phew! 
made it. survived the fall from the Dutchman's ship. He may have given you the very thing you need to find your friends. Now All that's right. what I call a special delivery. Now we can head to the Dutchman's graveyard and find the last treasure, save my friends, and defeat the Dutchman. But we're gonna save that for another time. Okay, everyone, this concludes part six of SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you for part seven. Bye, everybody. We'll see everybody next time. See you later.